Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today is video about 10 important things you should take with you to have a supply backpacking trip. Um, in the previous video I talked about five things you should leave behind if you haven't watched it yet it's posted right here somewhere here so please go and watch because it's also very important not to overpack but today we're gonna talk about 10 things you must bring with you because it's very important that you will be fully equipped to experience this is the best adventure of your life Okay, so let's start now. A lot of forums and blogs talking about water shoes and this is, will be number one. So water shoes, it was one of those things that we did not take with us and it was hard for us to go to Beaver Falls since we had to um, take out our hiking shoes like three times. and. This means we will have to bring some towels and new socks and all other stuff. So if you do not want to do it, I saw hundreds of people bringing water shoots and have not experienced the same problem we did. So learn from our mistakes and bring water shoes for this trip. It's also going to be easy to experience Mooney Falls as well as Havasupai. I'm sorry, Havasu Falls and go inside of the water, it would be much more easier and safe for your feet. Okay, so it was number one. So let's move to number two. One of the things on Havasu Pai uh, camping site, you cannot have a fire there. So um, it's a must, you have to bring with you some burner. Uh, I don't have one right now, but I will leave a link behind this video. And also, besides the burner, I would also recommend bring cooking set. So, look, we also, we always taken this cooking set. I also will leave link behind. It has actually two cups that can handle any temperature of water and it's so cool. You can close it and you can warm up the water on the burner. Um, this is what, 600 milliliters, so it's like 20 ounces. Uh, it's great, you can make instant noodles, you can make tea, coffee. It's actually one of the best things we bought for us and we were very happy. It's light too and it's easy to pack, so don't forget this cooking set. In addition, um, burner can last up to six hours. Actually, we were able to use it all three days. I'm sorry, all three days there. So it was very nice to have some warm water and we were pretty lucky with that. So it was number two and three. Uh, let's move to number four. Um, number four will be pretty obvious, but I think a lot of people underestimate that. And as I did when I went uh, from hilltop to the camping ground, I did not put any sunscreen on. I had it, but I was like, whatever, it's a winter time, I don't need it. Well, you do need that. Um, when we came there, you know, I had crazy skin i was red i was burning and on fire you do not want to do that especially in the summertime it's crazy so just bring some sunscreen on you won't regret that so it covers number four in addition let's move to another one so let's move to number five number five it's light we have this light why you need a light so basically at night you will have to go to restroom and you really need a light because the restrooms are not very close to where you're gonna camp you have to walk there so it takes some you know courage to go there with no light you can of course use your phone but if you are planning to hike back to the hilltop early morning and leave approximately like 4 uh, or 5 a.m. to avoid the um, hot weather and sun, you know, on its peak, you should bring the light. It's a simple light we bought, I think, from Amazon. I love it. 
you can put it on your head and it's pretty you know it's pretty bright for even for two people if one of you will have it and another one will just follow footsteps of the first person it should cover it it's a little bit on the heavy side but trust me you will need it if you are planning to explore early in the mornings or come back at night okay so that covers the next one and we will go to uh, my favorite one it's a tape okay so a lot of people don't take tape we do take a clear tape or this type of tape why because you can fix anything with the tape honestly speaking this time of the year it was cold so the tent we had it had huge walls so we just went around and we taped it all as a box you know so the wind will not come up i mean it sounds like temporary fix but you really don't need much i mean tape can save you from a lot of things you know and it's just you can buy a small one and bring it with you and it always helps like it was not even one backpacking trip we did not use tape really okay so we're gonna go to next one i think it's number seven if i'm not mistaken so it's reflective covers um this emergency covers i will leave link behind these ones i don't have one with me but we bought two of those and we were super happy we did because it just keeps your heat inside of you you know it was winter time again on the Havasupai campground it was super cold it was minus 2 celsius at night and it was very hard to stay warm especially when you are not moving a lot so we just covered ourselves with these emergency covers and put the cover on top of us we did not have a sleeping bags and it was maybe not the best idea but it actually helped us a lot to stay warm during the night i saw also people covering tops of the um, tents so the you know the warm part will not go out so quickly and it's one of those things you want to have in case you know rain happens or some emergency happens so i think it's a must one um, it's also very light so it really doesn't weigh much and you would really not never regret that you took them so the next one is uh, maybe not that obvious and not a lot of people are talking about it but when you hike eight miles one way and then you come back 11 or 12 miles mm, you really want to take uh, some sort of pills why uh we were so sore i mean we are not super experienced hikers but um we were preparing for this hike but not really and we were so sore we could not believe or couldn't sleep first night you know we took just a couple pills and uh, for muscle soreness and it helped us tremendously because next day we went to Muni Falls, we hiked the ladder and it's hard and it's again a lot of uh, muscle power to be used and it just saved us. I really don't know what we would do if we didn't ha have any painkillers, it would be just crazy. So I'm not only talking about Tylenol or Advil, just take some minimum amount of um, medicine or pills you're using on daily basis and also think about some neosporin for your blisters and also for muscle ache if you really not um, trust in yourself um, again in the previous video i said there is a store inside when we went to the store on havasupai campground well i'm sorry in havasupai village there was no drugs available there so just bring it with you you know it's the best bet you have and going to number nine it's gloves i don't have gloves with me but you can bring really any gloves like just winter ones like these ones it will help you to um climb the ladder the thing is uh, the Mooney Falls it just sprinkles water on the ladder and it becomes very slippery to go down and go up so gloves is one of those things that will 
let you hold on very strongly and I did bring glass and I did not regret I did because it was also cold and chains was so cold and it helped me to stay attached to that leather okay so last one it's number 10 um, bring cash um, they think it's a lot of um, natives of that area of the tribe they have a small um, small cafes and small uh, food places when you go from village to the campground and you can buy some tacos, some warm bread, fried bread or something like that. We did not get a chance to try them out but we saw them on the way um, there and saw people buying stuff from there. They accept only cash and it's just wonderful if you craving some good food and some hot bread for example a taco you can just go pay five bucks i'm not sure how much it costs in this kind of uh, kiosk and you can get your food so just bring some cash you know it, you always want to have like 20 bucks in your pocket just in case something happens too so this is pretty much concludes all the video for today i hope it's something that you will